Yeah, if you got someone else coming, no problem. Thanks. It looks like everyone's still getting set up here. I was just going to wait for him. Hello, Marcus. What's that, Yaka? How many is online now? How many are online now? It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 24, including the clock. We've got about 20. I think there's about 20 people here right now. Make sure that everybody uh, signs in on Wattify, and if you can re record your results for today, because we are going to be uh, trying to keep track of how many people attend to make sure that uh, people are taking advantage. That uh, if we get a ton of people, then we'll, we'll keep adding more classes or whatever we need to do to keep uh, keeping this thing. Thanks back for more. That kind of thing. Room six. Father God. All right. If I could get you all to um, mute your mics for me, please. Uh, hit me on your device there for me so, I, so that uh, I'm the only one who, who you can see. <coughs> awesome. And we will get started. Um, welcome to Thursday. Uh, this is the, the noon class for Thursday. Uh, I don't know how many of you were here yesterday, but uh, I wagered that if we got 40 people, I would uh, chop the beard off and there was a little bit of a, a session. And in, uh, the bum chin has made a, a, a reappearance. Uh, it's gonna, I'll grow right back. We'll see how long it takes, but uh, I think it weirded Lee out a few times. Uh, just feeling, for me, drinking out of a bottle or something and not having like your mustache there was very strange. All right, let's talk about today's what. On the menu for today, the warm up is just going to be three rounds of 10 jumping jacks and then five walkouts. If you don't know what a walkout is, it's where you come down to your hands, onto your hands, you walk out, no plank, little mini push up, walk back, a little hamstring stretch through there, and, and squeeze the glutes. All right, just moving through these movements, just trying a little bit of blood flow. Then we're gonna do a small bit of core work. We're gonna do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and you're gonna hold a hollow hold for me at that point, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna grab the dowel, you're gonna grab your stick, and we're gonna go back through the virgin or warm up, which is a good skill transfer exercise. It's gonna help you guys with your snatch technique when we do back in the gym and you get throwing barbells around. Hopefully, some muscle memory from doing this on a consistent basis will, will kick in, and we're gonna talk about and go over why each of those movements is important again. And then the workout today, I tried to put a pretty challenging one in there for you. The workout's gonna be five rounds, and the first movement is gonna be a kettlebell swing. So you can either use a kettlebell, or if you wanna use a backpack, do a backpack swing, that's fine as well. Oh, the backpack is open, I should probably close that. The second movement is going to be Sumo deadlift, you're nice and wide. Stand and squeeze. Sumo deadlift and a high pull. So you're pulling that backpack or weight right up. If you're using a dumbbell for the kettlebell swings, you're just going to go one arm, one side, and then each round you'll switch to the other side or halfway through. Whatever way you want to break up the reps, you switch whenever you feel you uh, go ahead. It doesn't break up evenly, so one arm is going to get a little more jacked than the other today. For the sumo deadlift high pull, you can do the same thing. What you'll do is a dip with the dumbbell down and then up and pull. Switch arms whenever you like on that piece as well. At the end of each round, you're going to do a 40 second plank. Okay, and that's why I have the clock on here. So it's important that when you finish a round, you can look at that clock. And you can add 40 seconds to it and do a 40 second plank for me. Okay, there's five rounds total. If you have any questions so far, feel free to unmute and let me know if you need an answer or uh, some advice. What, what were the, uh, sorry, in the wad, what were the, uh, what, what's the order again, real quick? It, it's five rounds, and you're going to do 25 kettlebell swings, 25 sumo deadlift pie pulls, and then you're going to do a 40-second plank, okay, five rounds of that.
Your score for that workout is going to be time. So however long it takes you to complete all five rounds. Any other questions on that one? Is, is, each, that round, round? is each round timed? Nope. Each round is not timed. The whole thing is for time. There's a 40 second uh, plank at the end of each round. But there's no rest interval. You are, if you need to rest, you just stop and take a breather. But there's no rest interval built into this one. Is it full kettlebell swings or half? Um, let's just do Russian just for the sake of people's uh, lighting in their house, maybe, or uh, uh, just, just keep it to chin level. We, we just saw it. Okay, if you have enough room and you want to go overhead as an RX plus option, you go ahead. Any other questions on this one? Hey, by the way, I think the uh, beardless is probably more C19 friendly. More what? C19 friendly. Like, you know, you're not going to. You're not going to be holding the virus in your beard. Oh, yeah. I'm sure by the time, next time you guys see me in real life, the beard will be back in full effect, I'm sure. <laughs> it won't take long. It won't take long to grow up back. Okay. All right. Let's get started with the warm-up, folks. So it's going to be three rounds. That's a three. Three rounds of 10 jumping jacks and five walkouts. Okay? So whenever you're ready, go ahead and start 10 jumping jacks. 10 jumping jacks. And five walkouts. Three times, please, three times. Yeah, walk it right on the walkout. Make sure you get a good hamstring stretch as you come back in, a good squeeze of the glute. Good. Nice wide feet on those walkouts. Just getting moving here a bit. Yeah. When you stand up, really squeeze the glutes. The Buns of Steel program is still in full effect. Three rounds, Margaret. Three rounds. 10 jumping jacks, yeah, five walkouts. Okay, we're just trying to get moving here a little bit. Squeeze the core as you come out on those walkouts as well. Good. Once you've done three rounds, you can just grab a drink if you need to relax, move around a little bit. Okay. Everybody done that part now? Feeling a little warmer now? Got a little bit of sweat going? Perfect. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the next piece. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So we are going to do three, a little core routine I have uh, cooked up for you here. It's going to be three rounds, 30 second hollow rock, and 30 seconds rest. Okay? If you are struggling to hold that. Question, Where are you? Can you see me? Can you no, I can't. Okay, when my face when my face comes up in the bottom corner there, tap on it and it should uh, or click on it, it should show my show me predominantly. Okay. Keep going. You got a double tap. Yeah, double tap on my on my face when you see me. Okay. Is that him? Or just him? no. Can you find me? I'll try and make some. I'm waving to you. 
He's waving to me. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay. Double Got tap it. on me or double click on me and then it should show up. Oh, great. Thank you. Got it. Okay, yeah. perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. No problem. All right. So if you find that you can't hold the hollow position without your back starting to arch, then I want you to pull one knee in. Okay. Pull one knee in and just try to hold that position from there. You're going to be on the ground for the next one. So let's get into position. I'm going to count down. We're not going to use the clock yet. I'm just going to count it down on my timer. Okay. Everybody ready? I've forgotten what you said now. Just do a plank for me, Margaret. 30 second plank, okay? Okay. Okay. Ready? In three, two, one, and hold. This is a plank, is it? No, no. Uh, on, on the ground, on the ground. Watch me, Margaret. Okay. Okay. Yeah. On a bench. If you want to do it on a bench or something, Margaret, that's fine too. I'll have to just. Um, and you know. that's 30. Rest. Yeah, it's okay. You jump in on the next one, Margaret. We're gonna we're gonna do three of them here in a minute. Okay. Rest for this one. We're gonna do two more. Can you mute her? It's okay. All right, 10 more seconds and we're going again. Five, four, three, two, one. And nice hollow hold, please. Nice hollow hold. Really pull those ribs towards the hips. Tuck, tuck into that position. Pull your lats down, feel your lats. Legs flexed, toes pointed. Margaret, I just want you to hold it for as long as you can, okay? Good. Keep holding. Keep holding. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Yeah, we're going to do one more round in 30 seconds. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, last round. Here we go. Legs together. Good tuck. Yeah, keep holding. Really try and squeeze that core. If you find you're losing the back position, pull the knee in. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, now I need you all to grab your broomstick or your dowel, and we're going to go over. Grab your stick now. Good. We're going to go through a series of technical movements. These movements are designed to help you. Build better body position and better movement <coughs> movement scales for the snatch. Okay, so the grip I want you to have on your stick is a wide grip, and the bar should be right across where your belt would be, right across your hip crease. Good. Your feet are going to be underneath your hips, with your toes just slightly pointed out. And from this position, we're going to do down and up. So we're just going to dip. And when we dip down, we're going to dip into our hips and heels, not into our knees and toes. So I'm not leaning forward, just a small couple inch dip. And then we stand and squeeze the butt. Squeeze. Dip down. Squeeze. And dip. Squeeze. Dip. Just hold it there for a minute. Really make sure that weight's in your heels. Knees are tracking out over top of the toes. The purpose behind this movement is to teach your hips on the snatch that they want to go up, not out. Okay, one of the most common mistakes people make with the snatch is they push the bar with their hips 
instead of driving the bar up with the hips. Let's practice a few more. Down and up. You can add a little shrugging of the shoulders now if you like. Down and up. Good. Bring those shoulders up to the ears. And down and up. Good. And relax for a second. That movement is very important because for every inch you push the bar away from the body, that's an inch that your body's going to have to correct at some point. Okay? It also teaches you that you should be hitting extension and squeezing your butt, and that barbell should still be at your hips. That barbell should not be pulled up to your chest by the time you squeeze your butt. That barbell shouldn't be leaving that position until your butt is squeezed. Okay? Second piece we're going to add to that now. So same position, feet under your hips, toes pointed out. You're going to dip, and now this time watch me first. I'm going to drive up, and I'm going to just pull my elbows like I'm trying to elbow something onto the roof. Dip, pull. Ready with me now? Dip, pull. Good. Elbows stay above wrists. I want you to do five more at your own pace, and I'm going to have a look at the screen here and see how it looks. Good, the butt's getting squeezed, good, looks good. Yeah, straight up, the bar is very close to the chest. Good, yeah, awesome. Yang, I want the, when you dip down, Yang, keep the bar in the hip crease, it doesn't slide down the legs, not yet. Yeah, and jump, good, awesome. The next piece we're gonna learn is going to be the muscle snatch. So from that position now, we're gonna actually turn the barbell. Watch me first. And I'm going to bring it up overhead in a snatch position. Okay? So let's dip down and snatch. Good. Now you can check and see that it's right above the top of your head. That's the perfect bar position. That's where you want to be with this. Let's do a few more. Down, snatch. Good. Really snap those wrists and turn that bar down. Snatch. Good. Reset. Down. Snatch. Good. And same thing, I want you to do five on your own here, and I'm going to watch on the screen and have a look. Good. Make sure you're unrolling that bar. It runs right up your chest. Good. Turn of the wrists. Yeah, we're not dipping under it yet, Mario. That's next. Yeah, just a muscle snatch, just straight up. Yep. Good. Okay, next piece. I want to start practicing dropping under the bar in a snatch. Okay? From this position, the bar is now going to be on your back as if you were doing a back squat. Hands are still nice and wide, resting on your shoulders. Yeah, bring the bar down to your shoulders, Margaret. Now, from this position, you're only going to drop into a half squat, and you're going to press that bar up overhead in the same position we just had it a second ago. Watch me first. Stand, reset. And I drop. Stand, reset. Okay, let's do a few together. Ready? And drop. Good position. Weights in the heels here. Stand, reset the feet. And again, drop. Stand, reset. Do five more on your own, please, so I can watch. Good. If you're comfortable dropping in the half squat position, go ahead and drop into a full squat. Make sure that barbell is in the same place, just above the top of the back of your head. You don't want it too far back. And you don't want it too far forward. Sarah, can you do one sideways for me? A little bit too far back, Sarah. I want you to try to bring the bar a little bit closer to the front, okay? Awesome. That looks way better. Yeah, it should be even with the top of the back of your head, okay? Good. Now we're going to hold that stick up overhead, and we're going to do some overhead squats. If you get to a certain depth on the overhead squat that the bar starts coming forward or you starts going too far back, then I don't really want you to go much lower than that. Okay, I only want you to go where you can keep a good position on the bar. So holding the bar up overhead, watch me first, and squat, 
and up. Okay, let's do a few together. Ready? Down and up. Really turning those shoulders, turn those shoulders so that you're turning your, almost like your thumbs pointing backwards to so get that torque through the shoulders. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Five more at your own pace so I can see. Think about where that bar path is. It should be just above the shoulders. It shouldn't be too far back. Just go as low as you're comfortable with. Good. All right. We're going to try and put all of this stuff together now. Okay. So we're going to do a hang squat snatch. The so bar is going to start either at the hip crease or if you're comfortable coming down to the power position that's or to the hang position that's fine too watch me first i'm going to go through and catch in that full squat okay one more time do it with me hang position we're going to do this one in slow motion so i am driving the bar up here come the elbows turn that bar and then drop into that squat position good five of those please Yeah, make sure it's not too far back, Yang. Good. Can I get everybody to pause for me for a second? I see a few people that I feel like the bar is too far behind them. So we're going to do a little check in. Please hold the bar in your start position. And we're going to do one, we're going to do one, one rep. And what I want you to do is freeze in the bottom, okay? Ready and snatch and freeze. Now you should be able to lower that stick and it should touch the top of the back of your head or the back of your shoulders. If it's too far behind you, if it's in the middle of your spine, then maybe you're pulling the bar a little too far back. Okay, let's do a couple more and practice that. Good, looks good folks. So this style of warm up for the snatch is called the Virginer warm up. Just keep doing them while I talk to you. It's recommended by Mike Virginer, who was a coach of the US Olympic team for Olympic weightlifting, that you do this every day. When you watch Olympians warm up before they're going out for their meet, they never warm up. They always warm up with a stick, right? Because they know the importance of good mechanics and that starts with the stick, okay? Awesome, great job folks. Okay, you can put the dowel off to the side for now and please grab your backpack or kettlebell or dumbbell or the object you plan on using for the workout. If you have any questions about the workout, you can ask them now if you need to. Okay, I would like to see everybody, just give me three of your kettlebell swing, okay? Three of your swing movements, either backpack, kettlebell, or whatever you're using. I wanna see three swings, please, three swings. Make sure you have an appropriate weight, make sure it's gonna work for you. Mario, you might wanna turn the dumbbell sideways so it's facing, uh, yeah, there you go, buddy, that'll be easier. And you can switch hands whenever you need to on that one, okay? There's no more uh, snatch action here, right? No, nope, we're finished with the snatch for now. You can put the dowel off to the side if you haven't. Okay, now I wanna see three of the sumo deadlift high pulls. So your feet are gonna be double wide. You're gonna stand, you're gonna squeeze, you're gonna bring those elbows high to the ceiling. The wrists never get above the elbows. Back's nice and straight. Sumo deadlift high pull, give me a few reps here. Good. Yeah, you can switch arms on this one too. If you're using a dumbbell for it, switch arms whenever you feel. I'll break it up any way you want. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so what's going to happen is you're going to do five rounds, 25 kettlebell swings, okay? 25 sumo de la pie pulls. When you finish that, you're gonna do a 40 second plank. So you're gonna have a quick look at the clock and then you're gonna do 40 seconds worth of plank for me. And it's going to be five rounds total. There is no rest interval. At the end of five rounds, your time is the score for today's workout. 
Does anyone have any questions before we start? Sorry, what was the number of uh, high poles? 25 of each. 25 swings, 25 high poles. Got it. So this should be a long one, folks. So make sure you pace yourself accordingly. And that's alternating okay. arms on the high poles if we have a dumbbell, right? What's that, Keith? Alternating arms on the dumbbell high poles? Yes, on both, both movements. If you have a dumbbell, if you can't put both hands on the dumbbell, then you're going to do, uh, you're going to alternate as needed. Okay. Margaret, you give me a thumbs up. You good? A high pull with a dumbbell again, one more time. Say again, sorry, alternate hands as needed for the dumbbell. Yeah, can you show what it looks like again, real quick? Oh, yeah, of course. So, if I'm doing the dumbbell for the sumo della high pull, I'm switching hands, elbows nice and high. Driving with the legs to try and create that momentum. It's almost like half of a dumbbell snatch. Yeah. Aaron, so wouldn't, wouldn't, over. sorry, Aaron, wouldn't, with two hands, you're just putting it on the heads of the dumbbell and then just pulling up, right? You could do that as well if you wanted to, if you want to use two hands. I don't really know, I don't like the elbow position as much here. It feels a little more awkward for me. I like this sort of pull. But you can try right. them both. If you like that one, that's fine. Are we good? Okay. I got to jump onto my other computer to start the clock, but I will count down three, two, one, and then start it. So be ready, okay? Twenty-five of each, and then a forty-second plank. Good, Margaret. You're gonna kettlebell swing that too, Margaret. Five of each and then a plank. Switch arms as needed, Margaret. There you go. Five rounds, folks. Make sure you pace yourself accordingly. After each round, make sure you do a plank, Margaret. You got a plank too.
Terry, you might want to try turn the dumbbell sideways. It might feel better. Yeah, there you go. Personal preference, though. Margaret with the snatches. <laughs> Looks good, Alina. It's a good tempo. Crushing it. Make sure you're pushing with the legs, folks. Especially on those sumo deadlifts, make sure the legs are involved. Right, drop your hips and push with your feet. Start that movement with the hamstrings in there. Kettlebell swinging music. So remember, Natalie, it's not just a squat. You want to hinge forward, right? There you go. Oh, it's getting spicy, eh, Derek? <laughs> this is supposed to be a grinder, this one. Leah told me yesterday it was too easy, so I had to come back with something a little more challenging. Go, Vanessa. We got this. Grab that backpack, Margaret. Give me a few swings. Yeah, there you go. Looks good. Ryan, I think your screen froze. Oh, Natalie's getting sweaty. She needs a towel break. <laughs> Coffee. The lungs killing it. Synchronize. Karina, how you doing? Everything good? Drive out of those heels. It's all posterior chain, these movements. Good 
When you finish your plank, hold up, hold up the number of fingers on the screen. That's why I know what round you're on. Four. All right. Good job, Sarah. Four there for Mario. Nice. Perfect plank, Chris. Looks good. All right, all right, Yang. Keep going, buddy. Russell going tarps off in the home wad. How you doing, Margaret? Three? I think three is good. Three is perfect. You get a stretch in, Margaret. Get a stretch in. Breathe. Catch your breath. Alina's still crushing it. That's a crazy, that's a good face. How you doing? Nice. You're doing great. Good high elbow there, Keith. It looks good, buddy. Brenda, what round are you on? You can't see it. All right, all right. One more round, Yasko. How many rounds you got? Five? Okay, if you're done five, I just want to see you do some light stretching, okay? Pigeon pose, hamstring stretch. Good, Amanda, looks good. That's a giant bag, Sam. Matthew, what round are you on now? Four? Okay. You guys look great. We're getting sweaty today. Where's James today, Jen? You're going solo, going solo today. Margaret, how you feeling? All right, awesome. Shirley, what round are you on? Done. Okay, I want some stretching then, okay? Pigeon pose, hamstring, you know them all.
What's the time? Pardon me? What's the time at? The time is currently at 14 minutes. Once you finish, I just want to see some stretching. Stretch the glutes, hamstring. Throw a leg up on the couch, pigeon pose. Good job, Derek. Keep going, bud. Good job, Vanessa. Good job, Gary. You more, bud. You got this. You're finished, I just want some stretching for now. Hi, Ivy. <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> Last round, Alina. How many you got left? Couple more? Ten more? All right, you got this. There's a few more people finishing up here. Killing it. Good job, Brendan. Stand it right up.
You can enter in your score, enter in your time on Wattify. We want to make sure everybody logs into Wattify so you know how many people we're getting attending. Hello, Aaron. Hi, bye, Natalie. Aaron. Yeah, hi, Margaret. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Margaret. <laughs> Thank you. What are you, 25 today? 25 today? Yeah. Yeah, no. you look great. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. You're looking fantastic, Margs. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, okay, Margaret. Say happy birthday to Margaret if you'd like. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Wow. Awesome. All right. Anybody still going here? I think we're all good. We got one more plank going on. Bye, everyone. You can unmute your mics if you need to, folks, if you'd like to. Aaron? Yeah? How do I? I'm like struggling signing into Wattify for yesterday and today. Like, what am I not going on? Uh, it's called the WADs. <clears> okay. <throat> so the, what, what category are you looking in? Like if I'm on the app, I go yes. program and then the wads or virtual. I think so. Yeah. Because there's only six a.m. No, That's yeah. The you use. Have you use the wads? That everyone's using the new app now. If you go to to the app, that almost still works. Okay. You can log into 6 a.m. That's fine, Margaret. Log into 6 a.m. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, we are done for the day. Come up close and un unmute your mic, please. I want to. I want to hear how it went. On a, on a scale of one to ten, you're going to hold up fingers. I want to know how tough was this workout. <laughs> You like it? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been, been harder to have heavier weight. Yeah, it would have been harder to have a heavier weight. A heavier weight, yeah. yeah. Tough, yeah, it's tough. It was a bad day to pull out the barbell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looked like it was getting tough. All right, I appreciate the effort. I can tell everybody's sweaty. I can see it. Uh, I think you guys did a great job today. Uh, let's have a clap on three here. Ready? Three, two, one. Great job, folks. We'll see you all tomorrow at noon. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for coming. Oh, baby face. <laughs> oh, didn't work. Bye, guys.